I'm going to talk about this remarkable TikTok that started September 2nd. It is October 3rd when I'm recording this. So this TikTok started on September 2nd and is already at 104,000 followers. And it's really interesting because this speaker has a very strong accent. And then I'm going to tell, I made a TikTok about this. Plenty of people who listen to the podcast may have not seen the TikTok. The hook of the TikTok is this is how Gary V rigged NFTs. It's a really interesting story that Mr. B shared on the Logan Paul podcast, which he probably should not have shared, but he did. And it's up and it's a crazy story. And you know what demonstrates the rich get richer? I'm going to relate it. I'm going to be able to relate it to this to the first story. It's also just a genuinely fascinating story. So this TikTok channel, I'm you know, I'm making this one for my listeners. I have listeners around the world. Thank you to all my listeners around the world. And I'm making this for the people who have strong accents. And they're like, oh, you know, I can't be popular with with a Western audience on TikTok. I have a super strong accent. I meet so many people who feel that way, who have strong accents. I travel a lot. I meet so many people who have strong accents and they say that to me. And that is not true. There is this TikTok. It's called GeoInfo. Just search GeoInfo on TikTok. This is what the niche is. It is videos about geography. All of the music, I believe, is Age of Empires. And the main draw is that the speaker sounds like Borat. The speaker sounds like Borat. And so it just makes it very funny. And it's increased in followers so fast. It's crazy. It had this viral video. It got 3.3 million views. That's how I found it. And then I went and binged a bunch of its videos and several of its videos. It, it's only made a couple of videos. It's made 13 videos. Several of its 13 videos are hits and they're great. And then the speaker has a strong accent like Borat. And this differentiation has caused the channel to grow to 100,000 followers in a month. I think it's really cool. You know, I want to tell I want to tell a few stories I'm gonna tell two stories. I have a lot of friends from Israel. My one friend, his name is Elad, and we were living together in Warsaw. <laughs> he started a TikTok. He saw me growing on TikTok. So he started a TikTok where he went around Warsaw and reviewed chic cafes and chic clubs. If you want to see it, it's called Elad Trips. And it's he didn't realize and I didn't want to tell him I didn't want to like demoralize him or insult him. It, his videos were hilarious, were unintentionally hilarious. He has a strong Israeli accent. He is a tough dude with a bald head. He's a tough dude. It's a tough Israeli dude with a bald head. And he's going to these fancy chic cafes and nightclubs. And he's reviewing them on camera. And he has this very strong accent. And I kept trying to explain to him. I'm like, Elad, like, I think his subject matter was good. His execution could have been better. And I told him, like, just keep doing this. This niche is hilarious. You're going to blow up. And he didn't see it. And I, I, what I like about what I like about GeoInfo is even though GeoInfo did blow up immediately, GeoInfo's execution was flawless. This guy has made videos before. Guy or girl, this person has made videos before. And even though GeoInfo blew up immediately, it demonstrates a strong accent can actually add to a channel, can add to a brand, can add to engagement. A strong accent can add to engagement. And that's what you're seeing with GeoInfo. And if my friend had kept at it, his videos would have been better. And I believe he would have been huge. And I think his monetization opportunities would have been incredible. He could have been paid to travel around the world reviewing cafes and, and clubs. That, like, and he, he loves that lifestyle. He would have loved that with his strong accent. It would have made it so funny. I have another friend. His name is Vova. He's from Israel as well. He does a very good Borat. And I had been telling him and he was on TikTok making. I've told him this to his face. His videos sucked. They were really bad. He was just trying to be as lazy as he could. He would have ChatGPT write all of his scripts, read his scripts on camera. He would he would do a good job reading them, but the scripts were just, they were meaningless. They were empty. It was like eating potato chips without salt. It was so bad. It was so bad. It really, it, it, his, his stuff really was awful and he stopped it. But when he was going, I kept on telling him like, hey, do this with a Borat accent. Like, you will you do great accents have a crazy accent and your videos will be way more engaging and he didn't do that and this guy took geography information information about geography 
and the accent makes it interesting. The accent makes it interesting, and then the Age of Empires music makes it interesting. It actually, like, when I say it out loud, it even sounds more basic than it did in my head. The guy has a funny accent. He uses eight, he uses video game music from the same game. Maybe he'll change games at some point, but the, the music works. And then his execution for what's on screen is good, but it's not, like, vibrant or anything. It's just, it takes him a few days to do, and each video pops. Each video pops. So I want to highlight, highlight this channel. If you're someone around the world, if you're someone and you have a strong non-Western accent, use it. Use it. Or just a, like a strong not American accent, not English accent. Use, use the accent because the accents are fun. The accents add to engagement. Now, what happens when you have engagement? What happens when you have an audience? How do you turn that crazy audience into, into more? How do you, and you're making money. How do you turn that money and an audience into more money? And that is the story that I'm going to share next about Gary Vaynerchuk rigging the NFT market. This is a story, like I said, that Mr. Beast told on the Logan Paul podcast. Probably should not have said it, but he did. I think that episode was number 291. You can look at it in my TikTok. Here's the story. Mr. Beast, 11 p.m., Mr. Beast is going for a walk. He's going for a walk. It's, it's night, and he gets a call from Gary Vaynerchuk. And he's like, oh, man, it's 11. Like, oh, all right, fine, I'll answer. So he answers the call. Gary's like, Gary's like, Jimmy, Jimmy, you got to come on this conference call. And, and, and Mr. Beast, Jimmy, Mr. Beast is like, it's like, Gary, it's, it's late. It's 11 p.m. I, I don't want to go on this call. And Gary Vaynerchuk is like, trust me, it'll be a great decision. And so Mr. Beast joins and it's like 30 people on this conference call, billionaires, influencers, like very successful influencers. Logan Paul is there. There's all these billionaires. And Gary Vaynerchuk is in this corner of the conference call in this little corner screaming about NFTs and screaming about this one project in particular called CryptoPunks. And he's saying everybody has to buy a CryptoPunk or you should buy several. CryptoPunks are going to be the next the next Facebook. That's what he's saying. CryptoPunks are going to be the next Facebook. And it's early February in 2021 and he gets the people on the call to buy CryptoPunks and you can look if you look at the chart for CryptoPunks, you can see during the month of February, from the beginning to the end, you can see a big jump. No doubt this was from what Gary Vaynerchuk was doing. And then over the coming months, this, the group of influencers that Gary Vaynerchuk has courted to buy and promote CryptoPunks, they do a really good, good job promoting it. They're holding it so they want to see the project do well. And they're promoting the project all over social media. And by, I think, September... The price, the floor price, the bottom price for one of these for one of these NFTs is 125 F. They when the the people got in at the beginning of February, the price was 5 F. Let me, you know what? Let me let me do the math. I didn't do this on my TikTok. I actually want to see in USD what it went to from the beginning, from the early February to September at its peak. The floor price for one of these NFTs for a crypto punk. In early February 2021, the floor price was about $8,400 in early February 2021. By the peak that year, around the middle of September, the floor price had risen to almost $500,000. Mr. Beast says on the podcast, he got eight of these things. He, he got eight. He got eight of these things, about four, four, four M. Well, if that's if he got, if he just got the basic ones, he probably actually made a lot more because he, he said that he was trying to get ones with like rare traits. So he probably made a lot more. All right. So everyone who Gary V pitched CryptoPunks to and who actually listened, they all made all this money. And now here is what they did. This is what Mr. Beast says he did. So they sell at the height. Mr. Beast 20 X's his money, maybe 25 X's his money, sells at the height. And then Gary V had launched VFriends a few months earlier. VFriends is Gary V's own NFT project. It's his own NFTs. And Mr. Beast takes all of that money and just puts it into VFriends. And he says on the podcast, like, well, Gary V was right, was right that first time. So maybe he'll be right the second time. And he just takes that money and puts it into VFriends. And I think it's a, a really, really crazy story. You can even see this reflected on the price chart. It's crazy that it was shared, you know, Gary V over the years. Here's the thing. As you, as you're consistent, I talk about consistency so often. 
I talked about it yesterday. As you're consistent, as you keep going, you meet more people. If you stick with your niche, they come to know you for your specific thing. You you end up accumulating all these good people in your life and they and you have top of mind awareness with them. And the further you keep it something, the more successful you become. But the other thing is the more you keep it something, the more opportunities open up. Time expands your surface area for luck. Time and vocality, vocality especially, time and vocality expands your surface area for luck. Meaning, the longer you are vocal with something, the more likely it is great things will happen to you. And as you keep going, you get into opportunities where you've acquired lots of good people, you've accumulated lots of good people in your life, and you can do some sort of crazy conference call with 30 with 30 billionaires or 30 influencers and billionaires and be like, hey, let's all buy this, this speculative a- asset and then pump it. And, that's what, you, and that's, what, uh, that's what you saw happen. Everyone made a ton of money. The rich get richer. And, you know, everyone started somewhere. And I don't know why the people who are listening to this podcast, I don't know why they can't start with a funny sounding TikTok where the accent increases the engagement that the videos have. This is episode 90 of The Edward Show. Listen, everyone has a niche. Everyone has a spin. Everyone has something that's special to them. I actually do believe that everybody has a story and that everybody can put a, can put a spin on their, li- their lives. Even the people who believe they live the most basic life can put a spin on it that makes it interesting. Everything can be spun to be interesting. That is something that I discovered in 2018 when I learned how to write headlines for press releases. And that is something that to this day, I still believe, and I will believe it until the day that I die. I hope that's a long time from now. All right, I'm ending the pod, episode 90. Thank you so much for listening. If you like this episode, if you like the podcast, let me know. It keeps me going. It helps me. I love to hear. I love to hear people enjoying my stuff. And if you want to subscribe to the newsletter, I share stories like this, growth hacks, lots of other fun stuff at edwardsturm.com forward slash newsletter. I'm going to finish this hazelnut coffee. Thank you so much for listening. I will talk to all of you again tomorrow. Bye now.